Dear friends, welcome to this first session on finance for non-finance executives. Friends, in this session we are going to cover three topics. Why everyone should know finance. Number two, what is accountancy and three, the difference between the accounting and finance management. Friends, if we are stepping into the business environment, then everyone should know finance. We cannot afford to be ignorant of finance because finance becomes the lifeline and it becomes the part and parcel of each and every activity in the business. Let's understand. See, if you have or if you are running business or if you are part of business or if you are associated with business in any direction, whether you be an employee, you be an employer, you be a marketing head, any anyhow, you are going to take a financial decision in all your activities. For example, let's say you run the business and you sell your product. So when you sell the product, you are going to take a decision about the price of the product, right? You are going to take the decision about the quantity. You are going to take the decision about the credit period which you can give the customers. So all these decisions are decisions which is going to affect the profit of the company is it not the price at which you sell whether you are going to sell it for ten dollar or is it for nine or is it for eleven and the quantity whether you are going to give it in bulk whether you are going to give it in batches and the credit period whether you are going to give 30 days or 45 days or 60 days because giving credit period has its own cost so in sales the it's not mere a um, selling decision that is taken it is rather a finance decision similarly let's say there is a purchase again when it comes to purchase it's not mere purchase because you are going to decide the quantity in which you should purchase because the quantity decides the storage and storage decides the place the place means the cost so the cost incurred or involved in storing the goods, the cost incurred or involved in holding the goods for such time, which can be the storage cost, which can be the interest cost, right? Which can be the cost which we have to incur to those employees. So the quantity, so in purchase, you take a decision on quantity, you take the decision on supplier, whether this supplier will be flexible, will, whether he'll be able to provide the product when it is required and you will take decision on the credit period right you will also take the decision on the discounts which you would get so all these decisions are not mere purchase decisions but all these decisions are taken with an intention to improve the profit of the company right similarly let's take there is a HR department a HR department recruits people but for what they do recruit people for getting the job done so they are going to negotiate for the salary and why the salary negotiation is all taking place ultimately it is to improve the profit and let's take there is a admin department so admin department has to incur various overheads right and all these overheads should be controlled it cannot go out of the capacity and why it should be controlled because there the focus is on profit similarly let's take a marketing department marketing department can go for any sort of marketing but they'll they have to work within the frames and what is a frame they cannot go something which is going to create big loss so there is also the focus is on profit so friends understand that in every department the actions taken are revolving around profit so all all people in the organization will be working ultimately with an intention to improve profit so everyone's action let's say selling purchase hr admin marketing let whomsoever it be their action will have impact on the profit of the company so only if these people know what is the impact of their actions on the profit of the company they'll be able to take a qualitative decision and if they have to know how it will affect the profit they should understand what is profit 
they should understand what is profit and loss statement they should understand what is balance sheet they need not undergo the rigorous accounting process but they should know the basic basics of what is profit and for that reason they should have some knowledge on finance and that's why we said everyone should know finance in an organization so for knowing finance whether everyone should know the accounting process it's not required so let's understand what is accounting first of all what is accounting see what does the accounting will do see accounting will basically capture all the transactions which has money as the base i mean all those transaction which has the financial substance if there is no financial substance there will be no accounting right so first a transaction should take place the transaction can be anything let's say for example payment of salary its sale of goods or say purchases or say payment of rent or receipt of uh, interest on deposit so these are all the transactions all has something in common that is all has money there is there will be either inflow of money either money would have come in or will come in and money would have gone out or will go out so accounting basically will identify all this transactions and it will record them so this recording would give two reports basically the income statement which will give us profit or loss and the balance sheet which would give the financial position so accounting is basically a detailed process see first the transaction like what we have seen transaction will take place and from the transaction vouchers will be passed and from the vouchers accounting entries will be prepared and based on accounting entries there is something called ledger where the items will be grouped will be prepared and from ledger a trial balance will be prepared what is the trial balance trial balance will pick up the balances of all the ledgers and from trial balance a profit and loss and the balance sheet will be prepared or profit and loss can also be called as income statement see understand so accounting will go through the detailed process so it is not necessary that everyone should know all this detail process but to be a knowledgeable person on accounting and finance management everyone should be able to know or read or understand at least these two that is income statement and balance sheet so understanding the income statement and balance sheet is more important than understanding all this these things can be handled by accounting department it is not necessary that everyone should know all this there are dedicated guys who are going to take care of this but if you want to understand your business finance if you want to keep hold on the business finance you should be able to read this income statement and this important statement called balance sheet fine so we have understood now this accounting is basically a detailed process which is aimed for preparing this basically this two statements so the accounting is done basically to prepare these two statements and it will be sufficient if we understand how to read these two statements so we have seen what is accountancy now so the third one what is the difference between the accounting and finance management let's try to understand yeah we'll try to understand the difference between the accounting and finance management see accounting is basically a post mortem I means i'm sorry for using that word see but accounting happens when an transaction take place or when something ends right you make the salary payment then give the records have it accounted you make the purchase give the records have it accounted you make the sales give the records have it accounted so it happens after even takes place but finance management is something different finance management requires you have to be proactive finance management would decide accounting finance management would decide accounting so 
having knowledge in finance will help you to have a good accounting records so if you have good knowledge on finance your accounts of the company will look good if you have poor finance management if you have poor finance management you cannot expect a decent or good accounting records it will be very shabby so only an organization or only an organization where the employees have knowledge about finance management will be able to provide good or beautiful accounting records of the company because accounting is basically a post mortem so you will be recording only what has happened so if the output or what you are going to record in accounting should be good you should have a sound knowledge here so finance management is basically proactive you should be able to act more with prudence and we should be able to take wise decisions and this would eventually give the better accounting records and why you should have better accounting records because once if you have good accounting records you will be able to improve the financial image of the company because ultimately accounts will be the image for the company a good accounts will give good profit and loss as the income statement and the balance sheet and that would attract the lenders the investors for investing in the company so the chain goes like this you should have a good finance management that would give you the good accounting records and that would in turn give good income statement and balance sheet and then you'll have a better financial image for the company thank you